collaboration is a big key. We got to be able to come together, talk about how the kids are progressing, what things we need to change, certain modifications, accommodations that might need to be made for certain students, and just, you know, planning. We, you know, we have to plan, uh, you know, to decide again, what are we doing this year? What are we doing this week? Okay, and how how are we going to ask our kids to show mastery of this skill? So as a diverse learner teacher, you know, our, my kids have IEPs that dictates the minutes that they're supposed to receive from me each week and reading and math. So I kind of have to work around those numbers as well as the way that we group our kids. So the way that it works is we group our kids by writ. It's how we grouped our kids this year. So luckily, most of the time my kids are going to fall within a certain writ range where I'm going to be servicing those kids. So for example, we have like a middle, a low middle high classroom, if you want to look at it that way. Ms. Diaz teaches the low, uh, Ms. Brown is the middle, Mr. McWade is the high. I'm normally team teaching with Ms. Diaz all day, um, and my kids normally get kind of grouped in with her kids because they're all around the same writ range. So it's really not a struggle for me to go to classroom to classroom per se because all of my kids are receiving instruction in the Gen A classroom from myself and Ms. Diaz. Uh, the way we kind of set it up, I support probably about four or five classrooms right now. Uh, kindergarten all the way up to third grade, and I have a schedule. So in the morning for literacy time, uh, I support probably the whole pod since we're doing the multi-gen. Mm -hmm. It's really easy for me to pull my group of kids and a couple extra kids at into uh, centers, everybody knows where I'm at. And then in the afternoon, everybody knows which classroom I'm gonna go to for support. Um, oftentimes I'll show up in Ms. McGee's classroom for about an hour and a half, and then I'll go to Ms. Wells' classroom, and then I'll go down to the, you know, the first graders downstairs. So it's basically all the scheduling. You know, and they know where I'm gonna be. If there's something else that comes up, somebody can say, hey, Mr. Heath, we need you for you know, this period because we're doing something special. I'll just let the other teachers know. So it's all about the scheduling.